Hello everyone, this is designed to be a help video for a nightmare problem that I encountered when I first started trying to race in VR in Assetto Corsa and something I found that other guys had the same problem. And that problem was entering a race in VR mode and as soon as you enter the race, your steering wheel just completely dies. I have a Logitech G29 with shifter but I'm hoping this video will help anyone with a Logitech wheel and possibly even those with other types of wheels, say a Thrustmaster or a Fanatec, if those wheels aren't working for you in a set of Corsa. Anyway, the problem was I would go through, choose a car, choose a track, go across, choose the number of opponents I wanted to race against, then I'd hit start, I'd wait for the race to load, and as soon as it loaded, my steering wheel would just go completely dead. I'd go up and hit drive in the top left hand corner hoping that it would power up and nothing would happen. The countdown would begin, the red lights would go out and I'd be left sitting there doing absolutely nothing while everyone drove off into the distance. I couldn't find anything on YouTube that would help and I went into some Reddit forums and you'd see comments like, oh yeah, I had that problem too. It was doing my head in until I fixed it. Um, yeah, thanks mate. I went and tried out the VR in Project Cars 2 and it seemed to work fine. So I couldn't figure out why it wouldn't work in Assetto Corsa. After four days of trying and trying and trying and getting nowhere with it, going into the steering wheel settings in the options or controls, checking out all my functions and seeing that they were working fine or I could see them working, and then going back into the race only to have the steering wheel die again every time the race would start, I eventually came across a thread where a guy properly explained what you need to do. So the first thing you need to do is leave a set of Corsa. Quit out. If you have a Logitech wheel like I do, jump on the internet and download Logitech G Hub. Install it on your computer and create a desktop icon. The icon should look like the one I have highlighted here. Open it up. From the icons in the bottom right hand corner, click on the steering wheel. And what you should see is this window here. For reasons that I won't get into here, I've had to reconfigure it a couple of times. But you should just get the one icon up in the left hand corner that says Assetto Corsa. And the active patch will have a little blue bar above it. The problem is that this link to Assetto Corsa doesn't work and you have to create your own. But don't worry, it's not hard to do once you know how. So you start by going across to one of the empty slots and clicking on it. And this dialog box will open up. Give it a name, call it anything you want. In this instance, or for this video, I just called it AC1. Click on the plus sign to add a file and a file search box will open up. Assuming that you have a Steam account and you should have one, and that you bought Assetto Corsa legally from the Steam store like you're supposed to, your Steam applications will most likely have been installed on your C drive. Open up my PC, double click on your C drive to open it, go down to your Times86 program files, open that folder, open up your Steam folder, then go to Steam Apps, Open that, then open the folder that says common, and finally open your Assetto Corsa folder. Inside that folder is the file you're looking for, the Assetto Corsa application. Pretty easy to spot by the Assetto Corsa icon. Double click on it, that will load it into the Logitech G Hub, and you can see it there loaded and then go down and click OK. And there it is loaded, AC1, with the blue bar above it to show that it's the selected patch. You're done. 
you can now close the G-Hub. Now that you have a patch for your steering wheel to connect between Logitech and Assetto Corsa that's going to work, reopen Assetto Corsa and configure your steering wheel. Go into the main menu, select your options, go down to controls, select your steering wheel, in my case G29 with shifter, just click on it once and you'll see it load. Now it's on to just making sure that the wheel's configured correctly. Go to the configuration wizard and hit start. Just before you begin this process though, I recommend you put your shifter into neutral if you have one. And now you just follow the prompts. You start by hitting any button on your steering wheel. I just hit the X. And then just do what it tells you to do. The first one that comes up is move your steering wheel in any direction. Just give it a jiggle around and yeah, you'll see that it catches. Hit any button to continue. Center the steering wheel. Hit any button to continue. Turn your steering wheel 90 degrees to the right. Try and get it as accurate as possible. Hit any button to continue. Spin your wheel all the way to the left until it locks, then all the way to the right until it locks, then recenter it and press any button to continue. Press your throttle all the way to the floor, press any button to continue, then release the pedal and press any button to continue. Press your brake down as hard as you can. Press any button to continue. Release the brake. Press any button to continue. Press your clutch into the floor. Press any button to continue. Release the clutch. Press any button to continue. Then it's on to configuring your gears. Paddles first. Press any button to continue. Click your up paddle for up shifting. It'll go straight on to down shifting. Click your down shift paddle. Now we reach the shifter and this is why I said have your shifter already in neutral so that it can configure correctly. It'll just prompt you to change it into first, change it into second, go through all the sequences of the gears. You don't need to use the clutch or anything, just change gears. Once you reach 7th gear, and if you have a shifter like mine and don't have a 7th gear, then just press the throttle. When you do, it'll go straight on to reverse. In the case of mine, you push down and to the right and put it in reverse. Once you've done all of that, just press any button. You'll get a window like this showing that you've completed all the steps. And then just go across with your mouse and click apply. I then turn the wheel and press some pedals, accelerator, brake, clutch, all working. I start shifting gears, now I just go through the different gears and I see that they all come up with different numbers. As long as they all come up with different numbers, they're working. You go up to back to leave the configuration wizard and you are good to go. One last thing though, when you go across to drive and hit start and it all loads up, when you first enter the race, it seems again like it's not working. Don't panic, as soon as you hit drive in the top left hand corner, there you go, your steering wheel comes on straight away. You power it up, you're ready to go or at least that's what's supposed to happen. And now you can get down to the business 
of driving in VR and chasing down the cars in front of you. Oh joy. If there's only one person out there that has their nightmare Aceto Corsa VR problem solved by this video, then I'm a happy man. Thanks for watching everyone.